<laughs> so this is how you uh, run an LS on a cheap ass Harbor Freight uh, engine stand and it almost falls over. Got to get yourself a battery. You get a computer out of your friend's car that's already ready to run. You take all your pinks, right? And you just splice them all together. And the two oranges. And 2000 LM7 5.3. All the fucking powers together. All the three grounds together. You cut those off of this guy. You run your power to your battery. You don't need no fuses or nothing. That'll work fine. Um, you can do your engine ground to your battery like that. Boom. And you got to get yourself a fuel system set up. Truck intake's easier because it's got the... Uh, fuel pressure regulator right on the rail so you get some get some clamps and a little hose and uh, I set up a little bucket this is real safe like fuel pump sticking in the bottom there return line right there power line run it so it doesn't hit your uh, your flex plate that would be bad um, you got to run this thing on used engine oil the used engine oil special um, and it starts right on up which I will show you later yeah Let's give the people what they want what, you want to start it again? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll film. I don't know what you did. <laughs> you got to do the fuel pump. You need the fuel pump wire and the ECU wire to, to positive. Make sure we're not. Yes, yeah, look, it's sitting right on there. Got to be a little more careful, Justin. Oh, okay. It's already rubbed. It's already rubbed through. Oh, right over <laughs> top of the mount there. There you go. Alright, you hook up the power. It's it's good, it's stopped leaking. See we got our return, return fuel, safety first. We got ECU power. We're gonna start this thing up. Right here using our old uh, starter, our key. <laughs> 